Hello, Gary Hernandez here and welcome to King's Self-Defense of Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I want to go over ways that you can train when you don't have a partner, but you want to have something where you can have arms and weapons coming at you. Now, Sentry makes this Bob versus, and this is not a plug for Sentry, and I'm not a spokesperson for them at all. I'm just going to explain about this before I go into a cheaper way to get yourself a training tool. The Century Versus is not a bad tool. I've had it for a couple of months. It is pricey. It's about $500 plus shipping. So that's something a lot of people don't want to get, and I don't blame them. So we're gonna, and it does have the arms. It does have legs to strike, along with the torso. So that's the one good thing about it. But I'm going to take this guy out of the equation right now. So let's put him over here. Now, I've done this before, but I'm going to get a little more into detail about this. When you don't have a lot of money and you want to build a little training um, device for you that you can use to strike and have, you know, arms reaching out to you, whether they have hands, bat, or a knife, you can do that. And I'm going to show you two different things. Now, number one, if you have a, a bob or something with a torso like this, Sentry does make just the arms and vest that you can buy, but it's still $160, I think. And, or 150 and it wraps around this guy and zips up so now he has arms but let's say you don't have that okay well one of the things you can do or let's say you don't have a bob and you have just a regular wave master or even a hanging bag well as you can see i have pole noodles and i'm going to explain to you why i did it like this number one the pole noodles i can ex they're at the dollar store you can get them anywhere the pole noodles i can make them Bring them out, make the arms longer, make the arms shorter. And if you notice, I tied the belts in different areas because I can add another arm on this side. I can add an arm coming down low, like he's coming with some, or I can go high on this side. So I did different kind of strappings for it so I can just put a pull noodle in, take it out, and I don't have to keep tying and adjusting. So I kind of preset that. What I did with this one here is I ran a pull noodle and I got a wiffle back. And I stuck a wiffle bat in it. And now what I can do is I can practice my high blocks redirecting and striking. So I can practice that. I can practice stepping to one side, striking the wrist, going into the body. And again, I can make it higher. It's just coming down, high block it, strike to the face, and move. So now I have somebody coming at me with a club of some kind. And you can adjust that further out. Understand? It will weigh it down, so you're going to want to tie it tight and first bend it up and allow it to weigh down a little bit. You could also, with the pull noodles on any bag, even a hanging bag, you, you know, you can use, again, I'm using old white karate belts. You can use rope, belt, tape, whatever you want to, a bit to attach it. On this one, I got two pull noodles and I added a glove. Now, I didn't tape the glove around it, and I'll tell you why in a minute, because I'm gonna show you some. But this right here is just an old um, Sentry, again, Sentry, I'm not, you know, spokesperson for them. I just have old Sentry equipment. It's an old, you know, it's an old bag, uh, workout bag for a kick bag. So now I have right here an arm with a hand, and I got a wrist area. So now I can practice stepping to one side and striking. Now you notice how easily it came off, and I did that for a reason. You're gonna wanna tape it. If you don't tape it, it's gonna fly off every time. Now, you don't have to have an old um, bag glove, and this opens up. Any glove will do. You can get like an old uh, gardening glove. I put it around, I slide it down, and I'm good to go. And what I would really want to do with this is take some tape and tape it up strong so it doesn't fly off every time. And now I've got a wrist area that I can strike the knuckles, the wrist, the forearm. I've got a better target system. So when I'm stepping to one side, I'm practicing hitting that hand, I'm hitting that hand, and then I'm hitting that body. Now on this side, I added a training knife. Again, another pull noodle. I can raise it, I can lower it. And what I did was I took 
one of my training knives from Sharky Knives. And I jam it in there. And now I got another arm with a training knife. So I can practice stepping to one side, coming down on that fist, and knocking that knife out of its hand. Just like that. So you can sit there and do that. Any knife you want to use, you can use. I would not suggest using a real knife because when it, it's going to be heavier and if it flies out, you're liable to get stabbed. But again, it just jams right in there and now I'm good to go. Notice how it drops the weight down so you're going to want to position it or tie the bag to be tighter for however high you want the knife or slashing or thrusting. But here you go. You've got... If you have an old wave master or new wave, any bag, you go to the dollar store. Now, understand, for $5, I can buy a dollar, two pool noodles, two bucks. I can go to the kids section and see if they have a toy knife, $3. Go to the gardening section and get just a, a cheap glove, $4 and go into the toy section again and get me a small wiffle bat. Five dollars. So for five bucks, I just created, this looks like a version of, for those of you that know, uh, Mystery Science 3000, that old uh, show that used to come on and show the B-rated uh, horror and sci-fi movies, the robots. This looks like a bad version. Or actually, <clears throat> I got two buddies of mine this kind of reminds me of. Chris and Kevin from Sons of Canes. Now, don't get upset, they're buddies of mine. Matter of fact, we had a couple hours, we were Skyping with each other this weekend. We're gonna do some um, video collaboration together. But yeah, this kind of reminds me of uh, Chris and Kevin, especially bald Chris here. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Kevin, even though Kevin's real tall, but he could be sitting down. But no, no, those are good guys. If you get an opportunity, please check out their channel. Sons of Cain on YouTube. Those are good guys. They do a lot of good stuff with the Cain. Check them out, Chris and Kevin. Give them some love. You'll like those guys. They're, they're pretty good guys. Pretty funny, too. But again, you want to put together just something that you can trade where you don't have to have worry about a partner. Here you go. You can do all your strikes. You can do your hits when they have a knife. You can come down when they have a hand. You can actually readjust it and set it up for in close, moving that wrist, striking. Again, like I said, if you don't tape it, the glove's going to fly out. Again, with the bat, one more time, you adjust however high you want it. You come in, you do your high block, and you do your strikes. So now you can work pretty much your techniques. Just make sure that you're not using anything real. So you don't, A, don't damage it. B, it doesn't fly off and hit you or destroy something in your house. Again, $5, you can equip yourself with two arms, a training knife, a glove for a hand, and a wiffle bat. Spend six, get two gloves, there you go. And just secure it however you want to whether it's a Wave Master or a heavy bag. You don't have to spend $500 on expensive bags. You don't have to spend $150 on adjustments and as far as the legs put old you know, tire <clears throat> cut a tire in half or take this off <clears throat> drop a tire around it a couple of them now you can strike <clears throat> i've seen people do that i've had students send me photos of their place where they're training and they've used tires so definitely something to think about hopefully that tip helps gives you an idea that i've seen a lot of videos and a lot of photos people will send me where they built their own rig for training and it's really cool looking some spend quite a bit of money making their own training area but if you don't have a lot of money and you want something that's just quick that might be a good answer for you just to get you motivated in training so hopefully that helps um don't forget say hello to my boys up in the uk my keen brothers kevin and chris they're good guys. Um, we're going to be doing something together real soon. Jerry, thank you, and I will see you guys very soon.